Black Country Customs came about because we wanted to make uh, the original lamps the way we originally made them. And as we did that, it became a more creative process than just repeating history. I think pedals is something that we chose to do mostly because we love them and we want to make them. We'd always had a desire to do pedals, but we'd never really focused any R&D time into it. You need pedals. We basically went to the product and said, well, which pedals are the right pedals to get at least the basic perfect signal path? Uh, we went on a bit of a journey. We, we travelled to the four flung corners of the globe. We, we spent a bit of time with artists listening to products, looking to, to what they had on their board, looking to what was lacking on their board. It's, it's about presenting something, listening to what artists have to say and then coming back and tweaking them. We made some great sounding pedals and we received some fantastic feedback and we received some very, very good suggestions from artists. And we felt that as a brand we had something to say. I remember Tom Quayle playing some of the pedals and just all of a sudden things falling into place in terms of where that sat in his signal path, what that did, how that added to what already was a good sound. Um, so the first pedal we looked at was a boost pedal, which is called Steel Park. Now the Steel Park allows you to boost your guitar signal, so it gives you kind of pseudo channel switching capabilities. Players who want to run a bit more gain in the signal, obviously a distortion pedal would be useful. And that's really the origin of the, the BCC uh, monolith. And then the final thing that's missing in the amp's arsenal is, is probably reverb. So we came up with the BCC secret path. Whilst they're single switch, relatively small footprint pedals, they actually do quite a lot of stuff because that's kind of the, the, the fun part of what went into the project. Now, each of the pedals follow the same pedal format. In the Steel Park pedal, for example, you have three different boost modes. In the Monolith pedal, you have three different distortion modes. And then the, the Secret Path. Secret Path is really a reverb pedal with three different modes of reverb-based effects. So it's about taking those on board and kind of refining the products and refining the sounds to make them you know, universally applicable as you can. And I think we've done that, you know, you have to give it a listen. Uh, it's been an awful lot of fun getting to this point. We feel that we've got something to say in terms of what we can add to people's creative journey as musicians. We are a company that has the best job in the world in the sense that it's, it's much more of a fun hobby than it is a real job. And we'd be very bored if we stood still. So yeah, we do have some more ideas and some, some more things that we like to try. We're already trying some things. I'm sure there'll be something else in the future.